Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Now, really quickly, I know it's a strange place to be starting, seeing as we're finished here, basically. Um, but, there's a couple of things I want to do real quick. Both of them Covenant related. <laughs> so, what it turns out, is that, I mean, we saw one of the Covenants and we didn't join it. Um, I'm gonna go join it just so I can get the Covenant seal thing. I'm not actually gonna be in that Covenant. I'm just going to request their Covenant item. But, I believe... And I'm not actually sure of the requirements of this, but there's a covenant here that I have not yet found, which is an, a unique covenant. I can see a bonfire over there. Actually, now that I mention it, now that I think about it. I don't know how this works. I'm going to make sure I don't kill myself by accident. Okay, as I suspected. Uh. Ah! Uh, oh! <laughs> You're just going to keep here. Oh dear. Let's not fall off by accident. And then we. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Secret Covenant. And a special lady. Yeah. Name thyself, stranger. <laughs> I am Yorshka. Yeah. Captain of the Dark Moon Knights. The church is named after her. What beckoned thee to one such a place? Um, perform Dark Moon loyalty. Thou thinks too. Yes. Very well. Captain, to this knightless company I remain. I will grant thee purpose. <laughs> yeah, you learned that from Cirrus. You learned that gesture from Cirrus. Thou journeyed far. Hear my voice. <sighs> if thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords. <laughs> then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the dark moon. <laughs> All right, cool. Thou art now a blade of the dark moon. <laughs> Didn't even have to the say anything. The knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. Yay. <laughs> I believe also if I go here, I can, oh. um... Good blade of the dark moon. If I can provide thee succor, only tell me how. Um, right. So, these Proof of a Concord kept items that I've been getting randomly, they can be either returned to this covenant, the, uh, Blades of the Dark Moon covenant, or to the Blue Sentinel covenant. Off um, so soon. May the dark moon watch over thee. Yeah. And they get you rank status in these covenants. Now, this is actually a piece of the map. Oh, wait, before we do anything. Wow. <laughs> this little bridge thingy here has been on the maps that I've been looking at ever since I first started looking at the Erethal of the Boreal Valley ones. I th I'm pretty sure they came up with er in Erethal rather than at Orlando. I might be mistaken. But yeah, they, uh, I saw this and I thought it was like an elevator, but it's just a... A falling path for getting items. Ooh. <laughs> painting Guardians curved swords. So yeah, th these are th these are the Painting Guardians from Dark Souls 1. The same kind of Guardians who you'd expect around the Ariandel painting. But I guess because Ariandel is... Yeah, Painting Guardian, hood, gown, gloves, and waistcloth. The set. Uh, because Ariandel is no longer really maintained properly, like, the, like um, Ariamis was... Uh, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's no guards around it. There's only Gale, the guy that we were talking to last time. <sighs> <sighs> I don't know if there are any other items that I need or well, I can get. Oh, oh, that would have been death if I had not had this ring on. <laughs> I don't think I missed an item. Thankfully. Ooh. All right, I'm at the bottom. There must be an illusionary wall. Oh. <laughs> That's why it's listed. Oh, this is because this is the Church of Yorshka. That was the top of the church. And that'll be why it was listed as part of Erethel, as opposed to part of Anorlando. Because it's the top of this building that's in Erethel. <laughs> Technically, Anorlando is in Erethel. Um, in this game, at least. But yeah. Huh. That's really interesting. I just realized I'm still embered. Which means I shouldn't go near places where people can invade. 
And here's the other covenant, the one that we got to last time, or one of the last times, but we didn't pray. We didn't join it. I didn't want to, but you get an achievement <laughs> for each covenant you join. So, yeah. As long as I don't do anything with the covenant, it doesn't really count. It just, you get the, um, the banner thing. You get one of these for each one. So that this is the one we just got, and the Blades of the Dark Moon is this one. Yeah. I haven't pledged myself to any covenant, because none of them is particularly... None of them I'm particularly fond of. They're really designed for characters that are either faith-based characters or very loyal to the the lords, I guess, like Gwen and stuff. But from what I've from what I've read, my character actually fitted fitted kind of perfectly into what I read as like kind of considered the best ending, even though it's also considered a bad ending. Alrighty, so yeah, in the previous episode we killed the Aldrich of the Deep and Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Both of which we used, uh, you know, human help. <laughs> we went and summoned some people, because those bosses, neither of them, you could actually summon anyone. Well, at least I couldn't summon anyone. Um, so, yeah. We've got this, this Lothric Castle is now open. I believe, wait, how do you, how do you actually, do you just go up, no, you don't go up here, do you? No. Because I killed the boss, but, do I, oh, you place it now. Oh, so I didn't actually place the basin last time. Is he gonna hit himself? And his head's gonna land in the basin? Oh my god. Oh, or is it just blood gonna drip into it? Okay. Because it did say it was like basin of vows or... Yeah, something like that. I've already forgotten what it was called. Ugh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the ladder drops down here. Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing that ladder all the way back at the start of the game, but I could not figure out like what it was going to be or how to get to it. Whatever the case, we're now opened up Lothric Castle. <laughs> now this area is going to be way harder than the previous areas, I'm pretty sure, but. Interesting random side note, as I mentioned in the previous episode, this area you can actually gain access to right at the start of the game. You do not have to wait till you've beaten Aldrich to get here. But how you would get anywhere in here, I don't know. I don't know how you'd make any progress in here. <laughs> Cause, yeah, I, I just don't understand. What is that? a dragon somewhere. Oh god, this is not gonna end well. Or it's gonna end fine. <laughs> to be fair, I was invisible, so he wasn't able to react to the first one. Oh? Oh! I can already go to the King's Garden? <laughs> okay. Oh, I could have stopped there. Oh dear. Oh. That's poisoned. And then there's a friggin' Poose of Man or whatever it is. One of those Aldrich demon things. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. I can do this. I don't want to actually go out here because this is the next area, essentially. Consumed King's Garden. Yeah. I ain't gonna go here yet, but this is the next area, basically. We went into Lothric Castle and then immediately into the next area. <laughs> Let's not go there. Oh, actually, let's try and go to this middle ground area. This area. 
<laughs> okay, there's two things I can get over here. Although I don't see this one. Oh, you have to fall down. I see. I can get this item, hopefully with relative safety. Oh, yes. I saw it in the last second on my map that it was a friggin' uh, Estus Shard. Yes. Oh, Titanite Chunk. Yes. I've been wanting one of those for a while now. Well, I've been wanting multiple of those for a while now. I don't know what those items are, but they look... Oh, there's a... I don't want to be poisoned. Actually, I think this might be toxic. Rather than poison. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just leave. I'm not going to go in here. Oh, shit. Oh. Where is the call button? Yeah, I freaking knew it was toxic. Oh, here's the call button. Damn it. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. I've got the one thing that's immediately down here. I don't think I'm going to come back for a while. <laughs> oh, I can go back to the bonfire. It's alright, it's alright. There's no bonfire in the gardens. Only after you've beaten the boss of the gardens is there a bonfire. So this bonfire here acts as a bonfire for both Lothric Castle and the Consumed King's Garden. Okay, well, I decided to have a quick look to see if any NPCs had any quest-related stuff that I can do. And it turns out Cerus actually does have one, but I'll go back for hers a little bit later. Um. What have we here? Uh-oh. This is why I go invisible. <laughs> oh, I got behind this pillar just in time. Okay. Let's do this. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oof. Yeah, the enemies now just sort of casually drop large Titanite Shards, which is great for me. <laughs> it means I can upgrade some other stuff. Soul of the Crystal and Knight. I wonder if that's story related. Because once again, we got another Crystal and Knight. Oh, is this a shortcut? Yeah, it doesn't move. Thought so. It's another shortcut, but I can't use it until we get back to this point. I don't think I can afford to not sneak up on these guys. Because they will be super strong knights. Okay. Yeah, these guys just all seem to drop large Titanite shards. That's fine by me. Oh my god, you're kidding me. I'll do to this guy what I did to the previous one. I'm gonna move away from that enemy so I can't be double teamed. Quickly! Oh. I saw it coming, but I was too afraid of getting surprised from behind, if you know what I mean. This is the only one of these guys, isn't it? Oh, cool. This area seems surprisingly barren. There's not a whole lot going on here. Yeah, you ain't sneaking up on me, buddy. <laughs> this feels like a trap. Oh, no, it's a bonfire room. Oh, that was quick. 
That was a very quick bonfire. <laughs> you know, not a very long distance between those bonfires. Cool. Oh, and this is a shortcut back to the starting bonfire. Yeah, that was the beginning of the area. Oh god, what's through here? Okay, it's not a mimic. Hood of prayer, robe of prayer, skirt of prayer. Oh. I'm so nervous about traps in this area. I didn't even check to see what that was. It was nothing special. Oh, it was a tight. Was that a tight night chunk? Okay. Oh my god, hurry it up. He didn't actually see me. He just heard the noise. Thankfully, these guys are weak. I was afraid. I was afraid. I went invisible. I didn't need to. I still don't trust anything. This looks like the start of Demon Souls, like the with the boards like that and with the little What the frickin' hell are those? I hadn't noticed those before. Oh, what the? Come on. Please don't come any closer. Yeah, like, enemies breaking through boards like that in an area that looks like this, or looks a bit like this. Tighten that chunk. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, it just reminds me of the Boletarian uh, castle. Okay. Oh. That's what's making all the noise. Why, hello there, knight of some kind. Okay, up here, quickly. Ooh. <laughs> Swap places with you. Okay, what is up here? Is there anything up here that I actually want? Oh, yes. I honestly would not have known. I would not have thought to do that. That's cool. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's the that's the night set for the guy in the painting. Huh. Sacred bloom shield. Was it boom or bloom? Bloom shield. Yeah. Really high magic defense. <laughs> Sorcerer's bane. Yeah. Because it blocks 81% of magic damage. That's the I think that's the highest magic defense I've seen on any shield. Oh, you can get back out. I could use that to get out, or I do. I'm gonna do what I th was thinking I would do. I don't know if it's a good idea. I'll probably get myself killed. It's okay. I don't even have. A, I don't even have a single level's worth of souls. I don't know if I can get the angle right on this. It's a risk, but I'm gonna try it. Okay. Oh! Did not know he was gonna do that. Damn it. Oh, not, did not me. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. oh. Oh, I thought he was going to dodge that. <sighs> Wing and Twin Axes and Large Titanite Shard. Cool. Well, we're doing this okay. We're handling ourselves. <laughs> I'm panicking a lot, but oh god, look at the sun. 
Yeah, it's a, totally eclipsed. Someone is- that guy. He's trying to throw the things at me that means I can't heal. Yeah. It's the, um, Hunter's Charm. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and backstab this guy. Backstab this guy. Nope. Nope. Backstab this guy. Oh, he's not dead. He's definitely not dead. Yeah, he hit me. He got me with the... He got me with the charm. That bastard. Oh. That guy dropped something. I don't remember that guy died. Oh, no, that guy... I never fought him because he's in a... I never came this way. Go. Oh. Shit. I need to be more careful because I can't heal at the moment. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm gonna wait till I can heal. There is definitely a dragon in there, and it's moving. Ugh. I'm actually at the point now as well where my health is high enough that it, I can't fully heal. Oh, pfft. he can throw so far. Oh, he didn't actually hit me with it. <laughs> Another Titanite chunk? Yes, I've got a ton of them. Oh, I've got a bunch of them. I wonder if I have enough to level my sword up. Because that's what I've been trying to level up for ages. Either that or my... Uh, my staff. Um, there's a bonfire right there. I'm going to grab it. For some reason I had this feeling like I could be killed in this area, but there's never usually enemies in it in the immediate vicinity of a bonfire. Doesn't really work like that, because otherwise you'd spawn in and you'd immediately get attacked before you can even react. It'd be a really shitty bonfire. And that's actually, I think, one of the reasons why they originally had intended the player to be able to place bonfires in this game wherever they wanted, but they backed out of that. They... <laughs> They thought they didn't. They decided against doing that. Yeah, it would have been really problematic. So yeah, that's an alive dragon. There's been a lot of bonfires in this area. Like, I definitely don't think I needed that many bonfires. I mean, I shouldn't complain. <laughs> Wait, what? On the map, it suggests there are two of them. I only see one dragon, but apparently there's two. Unless he arrives later. Like, maybe if I hop go up here, he's gonna pop up. Oh, we've just got a bonfire. Be brave for once in your life. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, invisibility. Being invisible, you... If you're far enough away from the enemy, they can't actually see you, you know, even if you're casting at them. <laughs> oh dear. Get the backstab and then a couple of casts and he's dead. I guess because there haven't been any enemies, what I could do is I could sit at the bonfire, get my Estus back, and then uh, continue on, I guess. So yeah, a couple of those enemies that I've killed will be back, but... There was only the one enemy I've killed over there since that bonfire, so... Uh-oh, there we go. There it is. There's the other one. Okay, I was a little bit wrong about it's where it sits. Um... Excuse me? Uh... That's, that's my way forward. <laughs> oh no, I can drop down. I can drop down. I don't know how I drop down, but I can drop down. This will not make me invisible to them. They will still see me. I suggest there's a path down there. 
Uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This looks like it has to be the way forward. Please don't breathe. I did not mean to fall down here. I fell down another layer by accident. Uh oh. Oh, shit. I didn't know he was going to be one of these guys. Oh my god, there's two of them. Ah! It's a dead end. Oh, I'm going to grab, grab this real quick. Ah, just heal, heal, heal. Is he? Can he? Okay, okay. How do I get out of here? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a there's a uh, crystal lizard right through the door. Please don't let there be anything else through the door. Let's go and get this. Yes. Oh. Okay, one more. There we go. Oh shit. Ugh. Twinkly Tight Knight, there we go. <sighs> okay, well. I can hear, I can hear them. Okay, good that they only take two. It takes two. I'm gonna kill those poos of man things from above. There we, there he is. Oh, he still hurt me. I can hear something behind me. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I could hear them before I could see them. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> that was successful. Surprisingly, we made it. And I escaped the pit that I accidentally fell in. I didn't mean to fall down both paths. I didn't mean to fall all the way down. I accidentally fell like two floors instead of just the one that I meant to fall down. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get the backstab in. What the... I got the backstab but then he like dodged it somehow. I'm invisible and he dodged it. I was invisible and I was behind him and he dodged my backstab. What? Yeah, what the frick? Yeah, take that, fatty. <laughs> Says me. Oh dear. Heh. And now I can get this guy. I'm gonna get behind him and backstab him because I hate his guts. Yeah. That's right, bitch. Oh, sniper crossbow. What I'm gonna do, though, is I'm gonna go up here again. And roll off again. Oh god, I don't like him. I don't like that he looks down here. I'm gonna go over here, even though it's probably ill-advised. Oh god, just as I thought. Yeah, not a good idea. Okay, I feel safer over here. I want to snipe these guys from up here. There we go. Damn right. <laughs> okay, I've got to grab whatever he dropped, but first... 
Yeah, I believe these enemies, of all the enemies, this, this, these, um, poos things, they're called poos, I don't know why they're called poos, but, um, yeah, they're the only enemies, pretty much in the game, that I've discovered that are weak against magic. I think. Or are they weak against fire? I forget. <laughs> it could very well be fire, and I could be mistaken. Okay, let's get up here again. Probably should put the cat's ring on. Oh. What's going to sneak up on me? Okay, that's just the boost of man thing again. It can't hit me where I'm standing. <laughs> it looked like it so had seen me. Oh, what the frick? You bastard. Why is this thing still chasing me? Get over here. And stop freaking chasing me. Okay. Okay, let's just go over here. Ooh. Kill this guy real quick. Kill this guy. Well, do a lot of damage to this guy at least. <laughs> I did once again, did the backstab animation. Did not kill him. Or did not actually backstab. <laughs> I am the master of that. I got a lot of training in Dark Souls 1. Halberd and a raw gem. Cool. Well, that was a bit of a cluster, but let's keep moving. Cool. Didn't wake the other one. I am so afraid of things jumping on me, surprising me, that I'm going to go invisible again before I take another step. Yeah, I don't believe there is anything else down here. It's just a path back. You can come down that way from somewhere. Hmm. Oh. Take this. Two can throw stuff. Mine's stronger. What am I hearing? I'm gonna go down here real quick just to see what's down here. Oh, I can see something. I could see the edge of that knight. I killed one of these earlier, though. Oh, whoops. Oh, shit. When they get close, oh my god. Quickly, quickly. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Irithal Rapier. Ooh. Um. <laughs> is it a mimic? Tell me, is it a mimic? It doesn't look like it, but once again, just to be absolutely sure. Okay, yep. Yeah. Twinkling Titanite. Yay! Spirit Tree Crest Shield. And a Titanite Scale. Cool. Oh, I missed this, sh this chest here. Oh, another Twinkling Titanite. Two of them, actually. <laughs> so that was a nice little detour. But now I have to face the dragon. Well, sort of. I have to go past the dragon. Let's just go for it up here. I don't know if he even saw me. He technically saw me. Yep. He didn't react fast enough to kill me though. 
One of those is definitely, no doubt, the um, dragon I saw from earlier. And he's pissed. <laughs> he's pissed at me. He's so angry. Because I heard his little... I heard his little back. His little back. It's gonna say his little tootsies, but no, actually I was striking his back repeatedly. How do you see me? I'm invisible. Okay, where did I actually go? I think I went down and across. Yeah. Oh, you bastard. That trick is... that trick is such a BS. Jesus Christ. Getting nearly thwarted so frequently by just random enemies. The useless guys. Oh, is that part of the dragon? There's definitely something down there. Ooh. I'll kill these guys first. This is what I came down for. How come they can see me? Oh. I think they can't. I think they're just running to where I am because that's what they're scripted to do. Like, the, whenever you enter a particular area, they're scripted to all run and uh, run at, in at you at the same time. Okay, um, do I attack this? Oh, that's why this dragon is discolored. I'm just gonna attack it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. This works. So yeah, they are weak against... Wow, that's curse. He did curse on me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Did the whole dragon die from that? <laughs> what? The other dragon's not moving either now. Ah! Uh, are they controlled by those things? And therefore, when you kill the thing, it dies? I feel like I've read that. Like those ones, that the, the humans that pop up that turn into those. They're like puppets, basically. They're controlled by the old, like the, whatever that is, the abyss stuff. <laughs> yeah, that'll be what it is. So yeah, the other dragon is now gone as well. Because the one thing was controlling both of them. Huh. Yeah, so that's like, there was a dead one like this in a previous area. Uh, I don't know if I want to hop down there. <laughs> There's an undead bone shard down there. That I want. But there's the freaking the, those things. Yes. I think that's it, isn't it? That's the only thing down here. Yeah. If I can kill this guy quickly, you won't be able to turn into one. There we go. Yeah, they have significantly less health if you kill them before they turn. See, I need to get on the other side of this to unlock this door and open up a shortcut. Okay, let's not let these guys swarm us. Oh, there it is. I was like, I was almost about to go and open it, but then I, I looked at the map, and just as I was looking at the map, <laughs> It hit that guy as well. Nice. Actually. 
I might just try and use something, because there's a trick you can use. I've not tried it the whole game. Is it this? There we go. <laughs> you can put the mimic to sleep by throwing at a throwing a undead hunter's charm at it, um, and that means it won't die. It won't be killed. But interestingly, uh, items like the uh, that head item that Avarice, the Helm of Avarice or whatever it is, uh, will still spawn on them if it, if it's a you know if you. Through the Undead Hunter's Charm, you can still get a spawn of that from him. So you can... It's basically like a way of uh, harvesting, as opposed to killing. You can still get all the drop items that you would for killing a Mimic, but without actually having to kill the Mimic. <laughs> well, I think this is the door mechanism that I was talking about. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I can actually target him from here. Yes. He can't heal himself, can he? <laughs> Lol. I don't know what they're casting. Some sort of buff, though. Oh, it heals. God damn it, it heals. There we go. Killed one of them. Quickly. Quickly. Yes. Got in a quick arrow. Quick arrow. Yeah, see? That's what it does. Heals. Okay, I need to use the full arrows then. There we go. And now I can just cast with this guy. <laughs> well. Oh, yay. Got some Estus back. I have nearly a hundred thousand souls. <laughs> yeah, so now there's just like a straight shot into the castle, which is awesome. What's through here? What is that? It's one of those things that's flying through the sky, but I don't know what it is. I think it's it. I think it's that. Whatever it is. Um, but it's the boss. <laughs> that is definitely what it is. Yeah, it's a boss called the Dragon Slayer's Armor, which I would not have thought looked anything like those flying things, so... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this is, um... I think I can be summoned. Okay, no, I'm su I can summon this phantom. Huh. I don't know how that works, or what that's for. Oh, that's for the boss, of course. So, that's that's what um, getting his fealty uh, was useful for, is that I can now summon him for this boss. Sweet. Yeah, I just need meat shields. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what they do, as long as they, d they can distract. Okay. Oh, I nearly, nearly pooped myself just then. I thought the noise from the candlesticks breaking was the, the mimic waking up. Oh. Contraption does not move. Damn it. It's a lift to the Grand Archives, which is where I want to go. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually, that is. I guess that's the gardens. Those are the untended, the um, Consumed King's Gardens down there. Oh, red tear stone ring. I f <laughs> you get the blue tear stone ring right at the start, and you don't get the red tear stone ring until way later. Okay, wish me luck. Oh god, that went too far. <laughs> mm. Yeah, any further, and it would have been a fall right to the bottom. That would not have been fun. What's this? Kaitha's charm. Oh, chime. Sorry. 
great. <laughs> it's a freaking miracle thing. That's why those knights are there. They're there to get aggroed if you hadn't killed them already. I'm glad I killed them. Yeah, this is awesome now that this is all open. I just have access to everywhere now. <laughs> oh. There's another lift. Uh, oh, this is a shortcut to the earlier map. Oh. So yeah, this is another shortcut. <laughs> I wonder where this... I forget where this um would lead. Oh. Oh, right, I see. Okay, that actually makes... The dancer's bonfire almost the closest one. Almost. Yeah, because there's less running. But then there is more waiting. Yeah, let's not. Stay down there. <laughs> he started casting. Let's get as close to this boss, but without going to the boss as possible. Oh, is this another freaking shortcut? Oh no, this is another covenant related door, maybe? Yeah, I think I just have to go. Oh, this dragon isn't dead. It's still got a, one of those things. Well, whatever the case. I think we can go here first. This will be like a back route to in that door, that door that we just saw there. Okay, please let these guys just be normal enemies. They're crossbowmen. And there's a freaking other enemy. No, they shoot freaking flaming arrows too. Oopsies. Cool. <laughs> that works. Okay, let's be real careful here. We're getting further away from the bonfire. Knight's Ring. Increases strength. Oh, it increases it by five. That's crazy. Cool. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, and I got some Estus back. So yeah, here's the... Oh, is this a Mimic? No, it's not. Titanite scale. Yay. Yeah, so this is uh, the Altar of Sunlight. Yay, I got the Praise the Sun thing. Yay. Yeah, that's the same altar from Dark Souls 1. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Yay. Praise the Sun. Yeah, and it's, typically there's a bit of sun coming through the window there. So this is where you would praise the sun. <laughs> yeah. Yes, apparently you fall down this area here. That's just what you're supposed to do. I can actually target this thing from up here, so... I'm gonna. <laughs> Let's just kill it quick. There we go. And now the whole dragon disappears. Yes. We. Oh god. I always go way further out than I mean to. Okay, apparently this is another mimic. Do I have another hunter's charm? I do, I have one more. There we go. Sunlight Straight Sword. Cool. Well, leave that mimic be. <laughs> and we'll go on our business. I think we're pretty much we're pretty much found everything. Oh, that's a Braille Tome. Um I don't know if this is one of the bad ones or not. But, whatever the case, we're back to here again. I think that's basically all I can do. Until yeah, we've got we've got the boss, that's it. That'll do for today. We have made it all the way to the boss. There's a summon for the boss. Um, there's one more thing that I want to do before the boss, though, which is the helping Cirrus with her quest. So we'll go and do that next time. But first things first, I should hopefully be able to level up three times. I have 120 
Yeah, three times, not four times. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, so I may as well, I guess, put my health up by 110 points, 111 technically. Or, um... Oh, stamina does not increase much with each stat. I can level my faith up to 10 so I can start using some of the faith intelligence mixed stuff. I don't really want to do that. I'm intending to use this staff that I have now until the until the end of the game, basically. <laughs> yep, screw it, I'm gonna put it all into in, into health. There we go. Cool. My health is actually larger, although that's because I'm embed. I was gonna say it's larger than my mana now. That's nuts. We have an undead bone shard. Yeah. So now my Istus is plus nine. Did we get a flask shard? We did. Yes. Just the one though. <laughs> um, yeah, so we can have nine five or ten four. Ten four. <laughs> I'll go nine five because I think the I think four Estus Ashen Estus was like sort of good, but it could be slightly better. Like the having nine health, I think, is plenty. Nine health Estus. We can finally upgrade my katana again. Yay! Do I want to upgrade that first, or do I want to upgrade my uh, staff? Because it only requires two to upgrade my staff, just for now. Yeah, I'll, I'll upgrade my staff first. But I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade my sword. I want that to be higher. Damn it! I've got one chunk less than I could upgrade. Yeah, if I could, I had one more chunk. I could upgrade both of them once more. But I'm going to upgrade my sword once more, because I actually think... Yeah, it's reached... Oh. Apparently you can get up to 15 slabs in a single game. So screw it, I'm going to upgrade this. Oh my god. Supreme Weapon Reinforcement, I just got the achievement. I've reinforced my sword to its maximum level. Yeah, so now my sword is basically as strong as it's going to get. Unless I upgrade my dexterity or something. My sword isn't going to get more powerful. <laughs> it's not a great thing to say. <laughs> but it's at its at its most powerful, basically. Because it's, yeah, 280 base damage. With uh, 20 physical being brought from the strength and dexterity that I have. And uh, 127 extra magic damage from my A rank scale intelligence. I think that's 427, isn't it? 427 damage. So you got two lots of 140, which is 280, plus... 20 is 300, yeah. Then you got 127, which is 427. <laughs> yeah. Shit. <laughs> Freaking awesome. But now I want to get my sorcerer staff up, like, up high like that as well. Um, which will require a few more Titanite chunks yet. Well, there's nothing more I want to do today, so I think that will we'll call that there. So, we're right before the next boss. We're right before the... Dragon Slayer armor. <laughs> it's like, what the frickin' hell's the boss? Oh, there's actually three bosses for this area. Lothric Castle. Oh my god. That's why there's so many bosses still to come. It's because they're all jam-packed into the end. But whatever the case, we'll fight the Dragon Slayer armor next time, and we'll also help Cirrus with her quest, and then we'll continue into the into Lothric Castle for a little bit further. Um, at some point, I will return to Ariandel, uh, the painted world of Ariandel. Um, but I've discovered, or I, I discovered after recording the last episode, that I did not need the DLC to get the bonus ending. <sighs> to get the ending that I wanted. But enough about that. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and as always...